everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson, and I have a small haul for a small family on a small budget from the Dollar Tree. So welcome back. So I know many of you, not many, some, I don't know, I don't even know how many, some of you are not fans of the Dollar Tree anymore. You have told me that in the comments. And I know when the Dollar Tree f first switched over to $1.25, everybody was, <gasps> you know, another 25 cents. And I, I, I get that, you know, 25 cents on each item that you're getting is expensive. <clears throat> But now that prices have gone up in the regular grocery stores, ShopRite, Giants, Stop and Shop, all these places, as well as Walmart, and Dollar Tree's not looking as bad sometimes. And Dollar General also has some great buys as well. But I am still, me personally, a fan of the Dollar Tree. And I, think that there's still some great things to be had so we went there tonight and you saw some of the pictures in between there so we went there tonight I needed to hit Michael's and I'm working on getting ready for VBS many of you know what that stands for and it stands for vacation Bible school so we hit the Michael's and right next door happens to be a Dollar Tree and watching my mom shop lately and what does she buy now that she's a family of one? Um, she doesn't have a chest freezer, so she can't store a ton of stuff. And she doesn't have a lot of storage space, so she can't store things because of that either. So I w it was just kind of interesting watching, because I went from a family of, we had seven that we were, including my parents, there were seven of us at one point in the house that I was cooking for, you know, maybe not living in the house, but still providing food for and taking care of and things like that, because my parents would be here quite often, to down to now a family of three. And out of the three of us, my youngest son pretty much likes to handle his own food and he has his own um, style of things that he likes. So a lot of times I'm cooking for a family of two. And my you know, things have changed for me and watching my mom, it made me realize that I know a lot of people like to buy the 25 pound bags of flour and sugar and oats and big ba bags of beans and, uh, you know, the bulk items. Nothing wrong with that. If you have the space for it and you think you can use all that, I think that's fantastic. Go for it. But people like my mom, my mom does not use a lot of flour. My mom doesn't really make pancakes. She doesn't really bake anymore. And if she did bake, she probably would go to Walmart and get, you know, a five pound bag of flour for maybe the holidays. But she doesn't have a lot of storage space. So if you go to Dollar Tree and you get the smaller bags of flour, I know for a dollar twenty-five when you compare that to what you can get for five pounds or four pounds at Walmart, I know there, you know, it's cheaper in the long run to get the bigger one. But again, family of one in a small space on a small budget even the extra 75 cents to a dollar 25 more that even though it's cheaper per ounce or per pound or whatever the case might be sometimes you just don't have that extra 75 cents to a dollar 25 to say well this is so much cheaper because in the long run you're what you're paying for the units and all that so i really started to look around myself and as you can see in the pictures, they have organic coconut flour. Now, I don't use coconut flour. I 
Don't even know what I would use it for. Maybe someday I will, but right now I'm not using it. But it was organic coconut flour for $1.25. That's a whole lot cheaper than you're going to pay at the grocery store. Now, it's not a big bag. I get that. But if you're a family of one or two, you're a small family and you're on a small budget. Um, that's not a bad deal. They had smaller bags of sugar. Not everybody needs a lot of sugar. Um, confectionate sugar. Not everybody needs a ton of confectionate sugar. So these smaller items for me, I'm finding myself there are certain things I'm enjoying being able to get a smaller portion. I don't need, even though it's just, you know, it's only another dollar fifty, and you could get this much more. I don't need that much more, so I don't need to spend that dollar fifty. For the little bit that I do need, these things are a perfect size. I did notice they had <coughs> what would be the equivalent of Apple Jacks. I forget the name they called it. You would have seen it on the picture. It was a full size box of cereal. $1.25. You're not going to pay $1.25 in the grocery store. Um, every once in a while I go, they have a different style brand of cereal for $1.25. They have a decent sized box of pancake mix for $1.25. Again, small family, small budget. It's not a bad deal. They have, they, I have not seen them do, they have not done eggs in a while. This was even before the issue with eggs. But I hadn't seen them carry it, and I was wondering if they were stopping to carry it. But now they carry six, half a dozen eggs, you know, six eggs, half a dozen for $1.25. So a dozen eggs would be what, two fifty. dollars That's about what you're paying in the grocery store. So that's not a huge savings, but small family, you might not need a lot of eggs. So for six eggs, a lot of the grocery stores don't sell a half a dozen eggs. I think that's a great deal. Frozen stuff, they're uh, vegetables, they have, they have burgers for $1.25. Now, I know there's going to be those that say this is not the most healthy, the food and all the rest. I, I, I get that too. You want your fresh produce, you want your fresh fruits and veggies and all of that. But somebody like my mom who lives alone and doesn't drive, who would like a burger once in a while, or they have Jimmy Dean brown and served sausage patties. She doesn't need a lot. So they had, um, uh, not the links. I guess it would be the patties. They had four on each side. So that would be eight patties for $1.25. They were not the real, like the big ones. They were smaller. But again, my mom, it would be perfect. Two of those in the morning with an egg. It would be a perfect size breakfast for her. And my mom does not have a deep freeze, like I was saying. So thinking of somebody that's a family of one or two that doesn't have a deep freeze, the freezers on top of the refrigerators, for most people that don't have one of these, you know, more luxurious refrigerators, just a standard old fashioned, you know, top freezer, you don't have a lot of room in there. So to be able to put some smaller packages of flour in the freezer or rice and some of these smaller packages of sausage and things like that, I think it's a great thing. They had plenty of little little pizzas there, um, plenty of cheeses, and at least our Dollar Tree was well stocked, well stocked with all the food. Then going just through the canned goods and things like that. Now you have your uh, Green Giant, dollar twenty-five for a can. <coughs> when I was at the grocery store the other day at Shoprite, Green Giant was a dollar fifty-four for a can of green giant dollar fifty four at the grocery store and a dollar twenty five at dollar tree you're still saving a quarter they have large jugs of water they would be a half gallon for a dollar twenty five they have electrolytes in them they have extra minerals they're pH balanced so if you're looking to get a little extra into your system great deal on that um, so let me show you some of the food items that I got I just got a couple of little things and then I got a few crafty things that I'll show you as well. So I found this Betty Crocker and it is one pound, 15 ounces, pumpkin spice cookie mix. I, I was thrilled to find that. Pumpkin. My son loves pumpkin and it says limited, limited edition. So I picked that up. Why not? 
He likes pumpkin cookies. We're going to do pumpkin cookies. So anytime I go out and take my mom, I like to get a little treat. So I got the Reese's Minis. I'll take those to work. I did pick up some. We, we like their ibuprofen. So we were almost out. So I picked a box of that up. And then this is what I like. I don't get headaches too often. And when I do, I usually get a Whopper. So I got myself the tension headache medicine. And then I picked up, this was gourmet burger. It was called seasoning. And it, it's funny for anybody that's in North Jersey. I know I have some North Jersey friends. This was from North Bergen, New Jersey, packed by the Colonial Brothers. And I opened the top a little bit. It smells so good. Gourmet burger. And what it has in it, it has, let me take the glasses off so I can read here. It has coarse salt, garlic, sugar, paprika, chili powder, onion powder, black pepper, crushed red pepper, and smoked flavoring. So I thought this would be great on steaks, burgers, and meatloaf. So I picked that up for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. I figured I'd give that a shot. I don't have anything like that. I know you can mix your own mixes and all that, but it's not worth it for me. This is for me the convenience. It's easy. It's a dollar twenty-five. It's already mixed. I'm good to go. The other food item I got, and I was really surprised to see this at Dollar Tree, was pure vanilla extract pure vanilla extract so it's 0.44 ounces and you know you go and get mccormick i don't like imitation vanilla that's one thing my mother told me when i was learning how to bake use pure vanilla don't use imitation it just doesn't taste the same so it is a little bottle i'll show you what it looks like but it is a full little bottle and for a dollar 25 pure vanilla extract uh, i was thrilled i was absolutely thrilled so i picked up two of them i figured i'm going to try it right next to the pure vanilla was the imitation which is in a huge bottle but you know and to each his own maybe you use the um imitation and you like it and you're happy with it i don't like it so pure vanilla so i got two of those and that's all i got in the food department and then i picked up some beads in the craft department you can see blue and like a white if you want to say or clear and the red i thought were wonderful let me show you the red one so these are this has the cutout of the sailboat and it's just a long board i would say 12 probably two and a half feet long so there's that one they had one that was light blue with a seahorse on it and i can't remember they had another one no the light blue had the anchor on it and then i think they had another color but then i found this one it looked like just plain wood like that and it had the seahorse on it so we are doing vacation bible school so i'm working on coming up with ideas for the teens to use those and add these beads that I got. I'm going to be using those for sun catchers. So I picked up a few craft items. I got some of the googly eyes and things like that. Again, looking for ideas and inspiration to add to some of the things I already have planned. So I just wanted to come on here and show you the few things that I did get. I'm really thrilled with this pure vanilla extract and I'm thrilled with this um, burger gourmet burger i've never seen that before i still think the dollar tree has a lot to offer i think you have to be careful i think you have to know your prices but if you're on a small budget and you're a small family and you want some small packages because you don't have the storage or you just don't need i know people that buy i have known and i still know people that will buy 10 pounds or 15 pounds of something and they only maybe need a cup full for something. Well, you know, it's cheaper in bulk. I totally understand that. But if you don't need it, why waste the money, the space, the time, the effort, and everything else buying it that big? That's not to say there still buys out there in the grocery store, all, you know, all the big chains and Walmart and all the rest. But we're a small family, like I said, we're on a small budget. And to me, 
just to buy one thing like this for $1.25 versus me buying all of these seasonings and all these spices, some of which I would not use. And I might only use a little bit, like a teaspoon in for just to make this mix. I'd rather buy the mix. So that's my two cents for tonight. I still think the Dollar Tree is worth it. With that being said, <clears throat> know your prices and don't buy excessive. Buy what you need, stock up in the stockpile and have a full pantry of all the things that you need. But be careful, stay on budget, live a frugal life in terms of how much you buy, how often you buy it. We have cut way back on everything that we're doing just because we want to get out of debt and we're realizing I have a full pantry already. I don't need a whole lot more. Thanks so much for coming over tonight and don't forget, I will catch you on the next video.